Hi, I'm Colin, and today we're going to talk about five different ways to fill your paver joints so you know exactly what to use for your specific project. The most common joint material is going to be some bagged sweeping sand. So here we have some base light, fine sand. You're going to be able to find sand like this at virtually any building supply store, and it fits relatively well in your standard joint width, typically about a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch. All we have to do is cut open this bag, sweep it into our paving stones, blow off our excess, maybe compact them to help wiggle it in there, and it'll be a good functional joint sand. The only drawback to just regular bag sand is that it can accumulate moss and weeds depending on your climate and application over time. For our four remaining joint options here, we've separated a few different types of paver into quarters. Uh, the second of our narrow joint materials is going to be a polymeric sand. Specifically, this is SEK Sherman's Polysweep, but there are many polymeric sands sold that are just like it. The process is all the same. You sweep in the sand into your joints, you activate it with water, and you have a sand that reduces moss and weeds, and is also easier to clean. One drawback of polymeric sand is it might not be readily available and it could be expensive. But the main thing is that it also has to be installed on a dry day with dry material and dry bedding material because if any moisture gets on the paving stone or an area with that polymeric sand where it's not supposed to before it's activated, you could have some issues with the cosmetics of that project. We've talked about a couple different options for your standard or narrow joint application. Now we're going to talk about some wider joint application products. One of those being PolySweep Extreme Wide. Now there are lots of other extra wide joint polymeric sand options out there and the goal is all the same. They're going to have much more polymers than standard polymeric sand to bridge larger gaps. There's lots of applications for this. We have our Roma Stone with irregular sized joints that are varying. Um, you could also do this in ceramic tile with wide joints or natural flagstone with white joints. It all works well, but the installation process is the same. Everything must be dry, like the surface of the stone, the bedding material underneath them, to ensure proper installation. The last thing you wanna do is get something wet on the surface and have that sand stick to it. It's very difficult to remove. The benefits of polymeric sand are both for standard joint and wide joint. You reduce moss, you reduce weeds, and you get flexibility when you need it. The last product we're going to talk about for wider joint applications is going to be a wet sweep sand. So here with us today we have Aspects Easy Joint and the cool thing about Easy Joint is it's very permeable. It applies relatively simply with water. You just sweep it in, get everything wet. On the opposite end you need to make sure nothing is bone dry otherwise you can cure to it. Um, the only drawbacks to Easy Joint is it might not be readily available in your area. It's going to be slightly more expensive than traditional polymeric sands and it can't be used for vehicular application. Aside from that, it's a very, very good product that has lots of permeability, still reduces your moss and weeds, and looks aesthetically pleasing. One simple but effective joint material for a wide paver joint application is going to be a crushed clean stone, specifically something 3 8 to a quarter of an inch. Here today we have our quarter clean stone that we use for bedding as well as the, the joint material for permeable paving stones. 
The nice thing about crushed clean stone like that is it's typically readily available and cost effective and it's super easy to install. It sweeps in the joints very easily. All you have to do is compact those stones just to help consolidate everything, and maybe rinse off some dirt or dust that may be in there from the process. Aside from that, there's a little bit more maintenance involved with it, similar to you would, you would have with bag dry sand in your sand set paver application. You can accumulate a little bit of moss and weeds, but it still has great permeability and function if you need a good permeable system. So there you have it. We went over five different paver joint material options, some for narrow joints and some for wider joints. You'll surely find the right joint material for your application. That being said, we have lots of other content for you if you have a DIY project coming up in the hardscape world. So make sure you go onto our website, westernlaw.com, and download our free project planning guide before you jump into your next project.